Hey Valerie and welcome to your tutorial. This is unedited and I've been told I kind of speak quick so there is a pause button on this video wherever it may be hosted but you're already familiar with a lot of these features so I'm just kind of kind of shake over the new features that we're adding and kind of where you can find things. So uh, the first look is this is your main page. This is the login page. Obviously uh, I'm going to log in here just so you can see when I refer to the dashboard that's clicking dashboard will bring you back to this main page that we have here just so you're on the main page. You always want to click dashboard just so you can see all the options that are available on the left. Um, the first thing is the sliders. If you come down here to homepage slider and click on there uh, you'll be able to see your one through seven sliders. Uh, this is the sliders on your home page. Uh, if you wanted to edit one of these you could simply click on one like you're editing a page or a post so I won't discuss too many you know basic features there uh, when you open this up I have set the featured image to the featured image that I wanted to display in this case this is the Shakeology image and I have clicked update I also gave it a title name just so when I look back I know which one this is uh, obviously I should have called this Shakeology so you know if I'm looking at the home page slider I can actually see that slider 7 is Shakeology, but instead I decided to make it a little bit hard for you and uh, <laughs> they're, they're named like this. So not really a big deal, but as you can see, if you wanted to add a new, it's just like the pages and you just set the featured image. Now the featured image is recommended, I think, at a thousand pixels wide. Uh, if you don't have an image that's at least a thousand pixels wide, it's going to shrink up a little bit, so it'll come out to here. You know, so what I tried to do is use Photoshop and then just kind of stretch out to a thousand pixels. Uh, easy stuff there. You already know how to add new. If you wanted to trash, same thing as your post, just trash. Easy stuff. So the next feature is going to be pages. And the reason I'm talking about this was because you had me remove a page from the menu. So this might be something we need to touch up on. If you've created a page, it's exactly like your post. So I'm sure you know how to edit them by going into it, just clicking on it, yada, yada. Easy stuff because you've already done these. Um, if you wanted to add a new page, you know, we don't want to edit this page. And excuse me, it's loading kind of slow today. We want to add new. You can always click add new here, or you can go back to the main pages portion, and you can also click add new there. So if I want to click a new page. All right, so the focus on that is, and the whole reason I brought it up is once you have a page, say I have my test page, and I'm going to go ahead and create it real quick. Test, publish. The next topic is the menus, and the reason I brought that up was because they kind of go hand in hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click dashboard over here. Make sure all my uh, pages are reset over here. Appearance, and then as I hover over appearance, I see the menus pops up here. Oh, once I have this, I have two different menus. I have my main menu, which is here, and I have a footer menu, which is down here, sitemap, resources, and disclaimer. So what I want to do is I want to work on the main menu, so I have it selected. If I wanted the footer menu, I would have the footer menu selected. But because I'm working on the main menu, and maybe second menu is something else we were working on or something else you had, but we're currently not using it. So the main menu is set here, and this is the main page items. So if you wanted to remove one of these, Let's first talk about adding one of these. Well, what do I want to add it from? I want to add it from a page. Do I want to add it from a custom link I built? Maybe I want to type Google and uh, link it to google.com. Maybe I want to do that and add that to the menu. Well, in this case, I just want to grab a page. View all. I can view all my pages. Uh, most recent. Here's my test page. Add to menu. All right. It's done thinking, so it's at the bottom my test page is right here this is gonna mean it's at the bottom of the list if I want to put it in front of contact I would simply drag it up here to contact and just drop it right there now you notice I can kinda of tab things in uh, you can kinda of set it over here that's just gonna set your sub page so you see how services uh, has join a challenge uh, free sample Shakeology that's how I created those so I'm gonna move this back over so we can see it in the main menu I always want to hit save and as I come back to your page and refresh it, we're going to see that new thing right in front of contact. Here's my test page. Now, remember those pages I was talking about that were under services? Well, those are tabs. So this is going to be your submenu. And if you wanted to tab it out even more, you could simply just drag it out even more. So 
you know, here it is. About me will have about me, and about me will also have Team Hustle. So that's kind of how you build your menu there. Now to remove a page, simply open back up this page, hit remove, save menu. I'm going to refresh. This didn't stop thinking first. Oh, yes, it did. Awesome. My test page is gone. Now, just for sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and remove that test page. Click the trash. So you're all set up there. One quick thing. Actually, never mind. You're all set there. For the um, carousel, I want to discuss kind of what was going on with the carousel. If you decide to put the carousel back in, it's as easy as going to carousel. These are the images that we're using, so they're kind of like media files. You click on it, uh, same thing as your post and pages. You add the featured image, which right now I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's light gray. It's like a guy uh, running right here. You'd remove that featured image and you'd add your own featured image. That would switch out, remember that carousel that we had right below the slider. Now to make that carousel show up, I have went into Appearance, Edit CSS, and I have added one line of code. That one line of code, actually it's split it into three lines. This right here. If you remove this, uh, first thing you want to do is save this somewhere. So if you don't want to display it again, you can put this in here. Click Save Style Sheet, and you're all good. But what this is doing is saying the carousel display none. Don't display it, and that's the CSS code that you see there. So if you remove this code, your carousel will come right back up on your page. So that black box that we had right here with the, I mean, you could scroll it, and it had icons with a little bit of paragraph, whatever these icons were based on. You could you could add that back um, just by removing this code and clicking Save. So that was an appearance, then edit CSS, and obviously you can back this video up. So, the carousel's been taken care of. I think the last major thing, other than the theme options, is your widgets. And the widgets is easy, because you've used widgets before. The only thing is knowing what's going on. So if you reset your dashboard, you'll hover appearance and then pick widgets. Or, if you ever click appearance... This page pops open and you have the same options here. So widgets. I'm going to actually do it from scratch just so you can see where I normally grab it from. Dashboard, appearance, and hover to widgets. Alright, looks kind of confusing, but it's not. This is the home widget bottom left. Uh, to make this easy, you can start reading here. Ever feel like this? Well, that's obvious. That is right here. Home bottom left. So this is one, this is uh, my new challenge, um, and then this is an advertisement. So if we come back to here, we see, well, there's four in here. What's going on? Ever feel like this is the movie? This is the new challenge. This is the advertisement. And this is an advertisement. So I need to go back and see what exactly is going on here. You know what it? I'm not sure. So I have to get back to you because this is unedited. <laughs> That's awesome. So the homepage widget um, bottom center would be latest posts. Obviously the latest posts are here. And you can set those features easily by opening this up just like any other widget. I've got the number of posts is 7. Uh, it's sorting by the ID descending. Um, you could do date descending. You could do I mean anything. This is if you want to show the thumbnail images. I've got that set to yes. So if you have a thumbnail image like you do here, it's going to show it. I think they all look great if you have thumbnail images. But currently we don't have thumbnail images for a couple. And I wouldn't mind. I mean you don't have to go back. You just have to add them to your new ones, and obviously they'll filter in. And um, and then what category? I told you earlier we set the category to main blog. So if you wanted to add something below that, simply drag your widget over. Just put it below that. You know. So if I want to put links below that, you already know how to use these widgets. You just put links below that. Now currently, I don't think anything will look good under seven posts here. I mean, we've got it at a certain size, and it goes right down to here. You know, that's a little too big. So I might even take this out, or I might add more posts, or maybe you will add a widget in there. You know, you've got to look at your size and see what you got going on. Same thing, the right bar has the Shakeology, your website hosting, uh, advertisement, as well as your healthy ebook. Well, if I look to the next home home widget bottom right, 
has the three items and if you open them up well yeah this code probably is the shakeology there's the keywords there so you can kind of see where that is the full witch bottom home we did not use the footer uh, left center and right footer left footer center footer right actually has three items in it the others should have one and one and as we look left has one uh, this one has one and this one has well it's actually two items contact information looks like it was split up so yeah I've got here's your contact uh, the emails and then here's the map widget in there and you don't have to worry about the coding but if you ever want to copy this and use it somewhere else uh, you can move these widgets around easily uh, you could also just paste it you know drag it up here now you want it in the footer, footer up here you know uh, just kind of wherever you want uh, the other pages, uh, the other sidebars that you have are on other pages. So we have three different types of pages. We have blog pages, we have the contact page, and we have the other pages. So obviously that's self-explanatory once you know how to work these. So the blog page has these items on it, which is go to specific category, your ebook, as well as uh, the workout, um, your kind of workout area. So if you wanted to switch those, that would be the blog area. You have these here this is the two new uh, you know workouts that you have and then we've got Google Adsense below that which is not showing here you know why because we've already got Google Adsense on your pages so it's not going to allow more than three and then this is just a blank line so if you're wondering uh, you know just to pull that open that's just a blank space there <laughs> if you ever need a blank space, this is a good reference. You can just copy this. But this is allowing a blank space, and then a line break, and then a line break. So you'll have um, pretty much a blank space with a space bar. The line break ends that line, and then a line break. So technically, you'll have this spot, and then this spot wherever your text ended. I don't know if you can kind of see that and reference that, but that's this means a space. It gives you a space. <clears throat> and what that did was allowed me to get a little bit more room between this and this. Otherwise, they were slammed together. So I just gave it a wide break. Simple. Uh, I think that's it. Power theme options. I want to go over those real quick. Those are obviously right here. If you were clicking from the main dashboard and you clicked appearance. Power Gym theme options. These, I highly suggest looking over them like we were saying. Copy the information that you have here before you try to change it. Obviously, you can change easy stuff like this. Coding and stuff like this or links. You just definitely want to copy it somewhere just in case you have to throw it back up. You're not going to need me. Um, just until you can kind of play with the sizes as well. Um, most of your settings here are, I mean, pretty good. Something like this, you can switch that chick at the top. So what you want to do is just switch it out with an image similar to this. So if you have to go here and find your logo size and then just like make a logo or an image that you like that size, that would probably work. Um, this is the text in the footer. Pretty pretty self-explanatory in here. Just The biggest thing is just save your changes before if you want to start playing with it. You said you might want to change the background image. Um, you can change it easily here, but you're going to have to get a decent size background image. So if I'm looking at my... Uh, your website on the computer that you know this background image still stays cool on my computer screen so finding something like that sometimes can be difficult but if you contact me if you have any problems uh, we can get a little bit more in depth and in, in anything you want here but a lot of this stuff is pretty static um, good luck have fun